episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the boys inside your head. I'm Jonas. I'm oh, TNT Don. I'm my name is and we are playing Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, dude. Big old sausage factory on the panel today, Bob. Whoa. <laughs> Just the boys today. <laughs> uh, people, people. Just one people, of the guys. People, people. I don't know what this is. Oh, my God. Something cucumbers. Paying customers. Oh, uh, we always get it right at the same time. Uh, he got it. That's a shame. Yep, he rang in right when he said it. Uh, speaking of paying customers, Jones, when's the last time you stole from store? Go ahead and just out yourself right now. You, um, you're when not I was a kid, I stole gum and my grandma found out and she yelled at me so bad I never stole again. That's the only time my grandmother's ever yelled at me. Yes, wow. And it taught me a lesson and I was shamed enough that I never wanted to do it again. <laughs> you shamed me. Yeah, I wanted some Hubba Bubba blueberry gum and I put it, I remember, I, t I had on a st little stocking cap as a kid, it was winter. Remember, I took off the cap, put the gum in the cap, mm -hmm. put it back on my head and then we went to her friend's house and I was chewing gum and she was like where did you get that gum and I was like what do you mean <laughs> what do you mean I don't remember what I said but I remember her yelling at me I feel like you asked her for it and she was like no and then you automatically then you had it yeah that's what I did exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. I asked her for gum she said no and then I stole it nah. and then she was like yeah that's and that literally my grandma is 86 <laughs> or 70 years old that's the only time she's ever yelled at me my entire life <laughs> That reminds me of uh, whenever I would ask my mom for something in the store, she would just pull the move where she would say, okay. And then she just wouldn't check it. And then she just would never get it. I'd be like, but I thought you were going to get this action figure, this X-Men oh, action it. figure I wanted. She'd get to, the, get to the cashier and be like, we don't want this. And I'd be like, I thought you were going to get it. And she was like, I am. It never would happen. I guess it's easier just to lie. <laughs> I mean, I knew Why even then that it was not going to happen. She was just like, okay. Because no. then you to... can't fight it. Yeah, you... I was like, wait a minute. What do you mean, okay? She reversed psychology to you. Uh, yeah, I mean, Well, because yeah. think about it. If you if she says okay to the first thing you want, you're not asking for stuff the whole rest of the store. Because yeah. you think you're getting the figure. And then you get to the register, and she just hands... We have a bankruptcy and now a loser turn. And she hands it to the cashier and says, we're not getting that one. And then, and then, then a lot of times... Kids are dumb. They have, they, have, they, have, they have short attention spans. They forget. By the time you get home and she gives you a, a cup of grapes and whatever, you're like, wait a second. Wasn't I supposed to get an action figure? God damn it. Yeah, dude. Your mom's smart, dude. She did it right away. <laughs> Why do your children? I don't know. I'll never forget when I was asking her for that X-Men action figure and she said, okay, and then it didn't happen, though. Like, it sticks in my head to this day. And it's not like I'm even disappointed. I don't even blame her for it. But it was just like one of those times where I was like, okay, I get it. It's okay to just totally let a person think that you're doing something for a minute. It's not. <laughs> and, that's why, and that's why I'm single today. <laughs> And that's why I need therapy. <laughs> All I've been doing my whole life is letting down people I care about because that's what my mom taught me. <laughs> <laughs> my mom taught me it was okay to lie to my significant others yes. and friends. Calculations? There's no more vowels, at least. It is definitely calculations, though. Blank to... This is very unevenly dispersed. It's a T-I-O-N at the top, yeah, 100%. Like... Add addicted to calculate? <laughs> no, wait. We have one R. All right, good. You're picking a good. Letter. You're picking a good later because the, the N is a good one because that second word is probably an O N. Yeah. Or a T O. Yeah, but so the T's already. We up might there. get a chance to play. Yeah, dude. Uh, one day. We have one. Yeah, I can't think of the last time I stole from a store. I think uh, it was probably like a comic book or something from a from a like a giant eagle. Giant like eagle's a, a gross, grocery store. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's it's. Uh, I never you know, felt bad about stealing either, which is you know. You say you don't? No, I never did. No. I never did. I mean, to this day, I do. Like, I'm not like a thief or anything, but you know. Yeah, I don't know. I never I felt never bad about a, it. I don't know, man. I just, I, I it, dude, I had to be that my grandma ingrained that into my head so bad. I would love to play. Um, according to calculations, is is the thing. So the C would be a good one. Ah, we didn't get, we literally didn't get a chance to. 
play. According to my calculation, pushes glasses yeah, up. Yeah, I think those. I just I think I just got uh so we need to have more than fifty six hundred to actually even win. Wow, so that is, um, I think I'm pretty sure she ingrained that in my head how bad stealing was, so I just was like, Nope, not gonna do it. House. I mean that's fair. Yeah, I mean I should tell her thank you. <laughs> Grandma, remember when you yelled at me I'm when I was five because I stole a pack of gum? I never stole another thing the rest of my life. I don't life. know. Or you could have been like a world famous bank robber. Yeah. Like Ocean's Eleven. Yeah, dude, me and Danny Ocean. But instead, you know. I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna say Thanks, Grandma, that. for making me poor. Uh, <laughs> tea? Yes, we have mm -hmm. some tea. Yeah, so. Yeah, I don't know, man. I haven't. Uh, That's quite a I'm not a big. Like, I mean, I have a lot. Contestant number one. I think you told us. To you solve. said, for someone who doesn't go to church, you have pretty decent morals or something. Yeah, I've always felt that. But, you know, <laughs> I guess it doesn't necessarily take, like, church to ingrain those morals into people. Well, like, but, yeah. yeah. I feel like I have generally good morals. Like, I try to be a, a decent human being, and I feel like stealing is makes you not a decent human being. If anything, I feel like, uh, for me, having being forced to go to church as much as I have been in my life, that I have pretty jacked up morals. <laughs> well, and I feel You're like saying. some of that kind of uh, around the house... Uh, but I feel like that's yes, kind of the thing. It's like you hear about like those kids who live very sheltered lives and they go to college and they're like the most insane, out of control MFers in the world because they've been so like thumb on them oppressed their whole life. They like get a chance to be free mm -hmm. and they're like, woo, promiscuous and mm -hmm. alcohol and whatever. Like Rumspringer. It's almost better if you have a little more freedom as a kid because then when you get older, you don't feel the need to rebel. I, you know, and there may be some truth to that. There may be some truth to that. Yeah, like, I had, I mean, I couldn't do whatever I wanted, but, like, my parents were pretty, like, chill and laid back about most stuff. Like, something top. It's brass top. I would take the R 100%. Okay, it's your pick anyway. So. Unfortunately, there are none on the board. So. Okay, well, screw me um, in the Yeah, butt, dude, I, I don't know. I feel like the more oppressed a kid is growing up, the more effed up they are no, when they get older. To have any of those. Yes. Um... I f and I feel there's some truth to that. I was given a lot of like uh, freedom when I was a teenager, and I think that was beneficial. Oh yeah, Gla I think it's glass top. Glass top. I'm an idiot, L. dude. Um, but yeah, I agree too. And I like glass table. top dining table. Wait, yeah. Wait. Uh, yeah, it's dining That's table. Okay. Yes, and we have nine k, so we can win. We're good. Um. Yeah, I agree, dude, because it's, like, the kids who, like, I had friends that, like, couldn't take the car to, like, the mall and had to, like, ask for, like, I couldn't, I'm so thankful that, like, I was able to, like, just do whatever and, like, but I also, my parents trusted me because I didn't give them a reason not to. I wasn't, like, a jackass that who they were, hard. like, we don't trust you to go in your car by yourself somewhere because you always get in trouble. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna be keeping a buck, man. My parents probably should have trusted me on some stuff. <laughs> oh no, I agree. I agree. Yeah, there was some stuff where I was just like, oh man, I'm getting over easy. Yeah, I mean, I was like, yeah, I was a high school kid hanging out with people who were out of high school drinking and whatnot. Uh huh. So I, I mean, I was at a couple of those parties yeah, too. Your underage ass. But I, but because if I was underage, you were underage. Exactly. And but I was like responsible. So like, if I didn't drink were there, you? no, I never drank and drove ever. Uh -oh. Like I didn't, dr I didn't really even drink till I was 21. I drank. I do remember you being the guy that would get beer and not drink it. Yeah, I would. Have, yeah, dude. And I, I was the guy who was underage, beer. and I, I had our friends who were overage buy beer. I buy kegs for a Christmas kegger, and I didn't even drink at the party. Hmm. Let's see. Let's, uh, like, oh, whoosh, well, I didn't mean to take F, but I guess well, we're taking the G F. is hundred percent up. Just take the G and just take the uh, the A. If you uh, watch wow, that, it skipped ahead. <laughs> they did it. It went C and then it went F. I was okay. gonna take C and D. How the hell did it go to the F? Well, none of those are have up a there short of on the map. Time, so oh, uh, Arizona. Yeah, it's a uh, Phoenix. Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah. Yep. Look at you getting the, the geography one before me. I mean, me. they're easier, dude. <laughs> He's a cake because it's just like, hey, it's a place. Right. It's yeah. a place in it, America, it, guess. It can't literally be anything like a thing. Exactly. Things. But, uh, but yeah, dude, yeah. I, I definitely was the guy who, yeah, I would I, I got the, did that Christmas keger, and I went and hung out and watched everybody drink, and I was only like 18 at the time, and I had a great time. I threw up in the toilet. I mean, I threw up in the bathtub for that party. Oh, I remember that now. <laughs> dude, that was yeah. on Christmas Day. It was. Yeah, dude. Somebody, was that the one somebody threw up in the sink? 
In the I, bathroom too? I, I yes. Somebody threw up in the sink. I threw up yeah, in the bathroom. Yeah, my bath girlfriend's tub. sister's brother puked in the back of my car on the way home. Yeah, when I was like, yo, right. if you got to puke, tell me. I'll pull over. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Get home. There's <laughs> flipping puke in my back seat. <laughs> every time. Every time. Never you. believe a person when they tell you they're good. My Lord. I didn't like that kid. <laughs> I didn't like most kids. I, dude, if it wasn't for my my girlfriend, I was like, I was like, call that kid. I'm he's coming to your house, and I'm gonna bring my car, and he's cleaning my effing car. And she's like, let him alone, don't make him do it. And I was like, no, he needs to learn a goddamn lesson about puking in people's cars. Because I was, you know, and we then, live in a society. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> so I ended up cleaning it up, or maybe I made her clean it up. I'm like, fine, then you clean it up for him. <laughs> All right, fair, I mean, fair hey. enough. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. Do you take? Oh, uh, we out.